Chris, what's one piece of advice you received early in your career related to um, to the topic that served? It, what was an anchor for you in your life, an experience that, that really gave you the drive and the courage to pursue what you have? <laughs> When I got out of undergraduate school, um, I got a teaching certificate and, and couldn't get a job. There was Something letters. to fall back on, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Again, old as dirt. You were either a nurse, you were a teacher. I mean, that's just the way yeah. it was. Okay, so I chose the teacher route. But there was a glut, so I couldn't get a job. So I applied to become a juvenile probation and parole officer and they wouldn't take anybody without experience, I was told. So I became a clerk typist too for adult probation and parole in the central area of Seattle. Learned more there than I ever learned at any university PS. But anyway, um, <laughs> and eventually I was told uh, by my boss of that office, you know, you ought to apply to be an adult parole officer and then move over to juvenile. And so I thought, okay, so I took the test, did fine. Then I was sent to Olympia to have an interview with the head of the department. You know that's not done. A person who's applying for an entry-level parole officer is down in Olympia meeting with the secretary of corrections. So I thought, okay, whatever. So I went down there. Uh, that went fine. And then I came back to the guy who was the regional head who actually had to do the hiring. And he said to me, uh, we just hired our first token. I don't need another one right now. But when I do, uh, you will be among the top. And <laughs> wow. That's what he thought. So I look back, I've looked, at, I've looked back, you have no idea how many times I've looked back on that. I didn't sue, I didn't do any of that. I should have because he would have, he continued, I'm sure, to do that same behavior with others. Um, but he taught me a lot. And I thought, I'm not gonna let that happen to me again. I'm not going to let that happen to anybody else again. And so I went to law school. Yeah. Wow.